coming for us. They have their lights on. I'm good, how are you? Three. Okay. So, uh, we just got boarded by the Coast Guard. They came aboard and did a quick uh, safety inspection, and they just checked that our flares were up to date, that we had a sound device that was adequate. They also checked out our fire extinguishers and our PFDs. Checked out all our IDs, made sure everything was good, and checked out our boat registration. They were pretty chill, so I didn't really want to film them. Uh, but uh, I asked and they said I could film them as they went away. So uh, enjoy. Yeah, they did. Oh. That was cool. I was like, they're coming towards us. <laughs> yeah. We just got boarded. first said that our uh, our horseshoe life jacket wasn't in a rag, you said? Lucky they changed their mind. We're about to pass the seven mile bridge. The waves are going to get a little bit worse because there's more wind build up. It's not as much land blocking. Over here we have our charts, our binoculars, and our VHF radio. And then we have the phone which has Navionics on it. And right now my dad is at the bow working on getting an anchor prepared. We got all the lines from our mooring getting out of the way so we can uh, set our anchor good when we get to the anchorage in Boot Key. Boot Key is where we're anchoring, I think. Well, let me see that. Like a sandy underwear on a beach kind of chase. <laughs> it's not too bad, but the longer you let it stay, the more it yeah. scratches you. That line is done. That's not good. No fun out. Well, at least we're not mooring. We're anchoring. <laughs> no more mooring bowls. Ever. Never. Not one. Okay, so this guy right here is eating ghost pepper spicy pickles with chocolate. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Alrighty, so right over here is a seven mile bridge, which as we get closer to it, we're going to be further exposed to all the wind and the waves because there's less refraction off of the land we're kind of next to. So, it's going to get, might get a little rocky here in a minute. Never mind, that is not the seven mile bridge, but it's a bridge. That's the point. Yeah. Semantics. Little uh, DIY hack here. If you're tired of standing and your knees hurt, and you still want good vantage point, if you don't have one of those fancy little chairs, what you can do is just use fender. I'm sitting on one right now. It works great. I am not the happiest right now because we ran into some more crab traps. I thought it was done, but it's not. The problem with crab traps is um, you get them caught in your prop, you're screwed basically. So you have to kind of take into account where they are. So you got the buoys at the top and then the long ropes. Depending on the wind direction and current, the ropes, they swing and you can't really tell unless the water is super clear, which it's pretty clear now, so I can kind of tell, but it's still kind of annoying. Yeah. But they usually put them like in a line, the boat that brings them like drops them off in a row. So if you go parallel to them, it won't be much trouble, but sometimes they're just kind of scattered around a little bit. All the crab traps. You might mistake them for white caps, but there are balls out there. Alrighty, so I think I actually got it right this time, and we see the Seven Mile Bridge. It's right up there. Now 
Oh, that could be it. Two seven mile bridge. It's been picking up. We've got some swells. It's a little bit rocky right now, and then there's some sea spray. On a side note, comment any questions you guys have, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. But now, let's make it into port. Alrighty, so I took a fat nap, and I wasn't able to record everything that's coming into port. But, um, we are moored right now. We are in Buki, like in the inside, not on the outside. And the mooring looks pretty good. finally done for the day at least so sgnt see ya